There's all those commercials for like people. I don't know if you remember. I don't know if they still air it, but like for the last couple of years, there was a commercial where like this guy and this girl that live in this very extravagant house. I think uh, she presents him with like matching watches. One's red and one's black. And he's like, I got a something too. And they go outside. I think we've even talked about this on the show. And they go outside. They've got two big SUVs. And uh, he's like, all right, I got one for you, one for me. And she runs over to the black SUV. And she's like, I love it. And he was like, actually the red one, I love it. And like, she's obsessed with keeping the black one. He's like, I like red, but they have this. <laughs> really like fancy house they're very expensive cars very expensive looking watches it's just like so unobtainable for like 99 percent of people to have that christmas that they apparently had look wade i hate to break it to you but snl just did a video on this and i know we talked about this before but now you're just pulling from snl oh my god are you stealing oh topics from other better shows yeah I'm he just is. asking the, what you guys think about doing big, extravagant Christmas surprises. Like, uh, would you ever surprise somebody with something expensive, like a car? Like, what if they didn't like it? What if that's not the car they want? Like, I don't know. How yeah, would... No, that's exactly <laughs> so that's terrifying. The, the first thought I have ever had about any Christmas gift, even if it's small, is like, if this isn't from their Amazon list or whatever, if they didn't tell me about this at some point, I'm just like, oh, well, they like, you know, they like driving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll just get them a car to drive. Who would do that? Uh, I actually have a story. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. All right. So I don't, I don't usually talk about the things that I, I help my mom with, documentary being one of them. But a few years ago, I had, uh, when, when Team Applier was more of a thing, we had a company car, right? Sure. So we had a, it was a very nice car and it was something where after that kind of like petered out a little bit and started like changing the direction of what type of stuff I was doing. I was like, oh, my mom needs a car because the car that she had was like the dog car. And we had Lucy, which is a huge great Pyrenees, 120 pounds of dog and loves to run in the mud, loves to poop a lot, you know, it, kind of a dirty dog. And so that car had gotten really dirty. And as much as my, I told my mom, like, you can get that car detailed. They will clean it for you. She went, no, it's too late. <laughs> that car's a wash. Like my mom was just like, this car is doomed. Uh, I was like, all right, mom. So I was like, oh, I'm not really using this car. I don't need two cars. I don't know why anyone ever would. So I was like, I'll gift this to my mom. And that is basically the equivalent of what you see in those commercials. Cause like, yeah, mom, I got a good car and I think you'll like it. I send it over there. The problem is it's a plug-in hybrid, right? So that yep. my mom technologically not savvy enough to understand that you needed to plug this car in. It's not a full full battery powered car, but it has a bigger battery than a hybrid would be. And it can run fully electric for a little bit, like maybe 30, 50 miles. But the problem is with those things, if you do not plug it in, it will drain the main battery to try to keep the electrical systems alive and it will die a lot. And so not only did my mom not like this car, this really nice expensive car, but she yeah, it was a it, nice car. It was a nice car. Yeah. You remember it. I remember and, it was a great car. Yeah. She would let it rot in the driveway. And so for two years, it was constantly a cycle where I would from across the country call a tow truck or I would have Evan help call a tow truck <laughs> and they would get it towed, fixed it would go back to my mom's house and it would rot and the battery would die and she'd be like, it doesn't work this car is broken and I'm like, oh you can just plug it in oh, just no. plug it in <laughs> and so it was just a nightmare until only recently finally got it traded out to another car <laughs> sad Yeah. so would you say the Christmas car idea was good or bad? Bad, bad. It was terrible. <laughs> Two years of annoyances. Just no good.